So now we have Angular Material up and running. Let's try and use it. Uh, let's just clean this up first. And we're going to use foreign cons later. So there we go, it's gone. Let's open the Angular Material page again, look at components. And here we have a lot of different components we can use. Have a look at input components. And let's just put in a basic component just to see if it works. So I'm just grabbing this guy right here and placing that inside our, our tool. I'm just grabbing the code as it is. We'll change it later, it's just to, to check it out. I'll put in an HR here, meaning I need a horizontal line, and then I'll add my container. I'm just going back and having a look at the code here. And there we go, now we have a beautiful little thing here. And you can see the, as I type in, it'll do the animation. So this is Angular Material running. So it's working, yay! Let's try and put in something else. Let's try the cards. And let's try and do an example here, just to show you those. Let's try and see if we can get the dog in. And I'll view the source here, and I'll get, grab all of this code, all of this code. Let's see what we actually get by just pasting this directly in to our application here. Notice the image won't pop up because I didn't add this specific image in the assets, but hopefully I'll get something. Let's see how far we get. And there we go, it's kind of a card, right? The image is not there, that's kind of what makes it look less beautiful. But you have the card, you have the like icons, it tries to find the Shiba dock, which it can't find. And um, let's try and grab that dock. Let's just try and grab Shiba here. I'll copy image address. I'll just paste that in instead, just for the fun of it. Like this. Save that, and let's see if that helped. Make it look more shiny. Now we have the Shiba dog in there as well. So now we have a real card with the dog. What else didn't work? Let's look at the material again. It's probably also pointing to some icons here. This is a button. No, it's actually not. It's just pure buttons. We'll look more into this later, but notice how similar it is for you to play around with this. Here's a list. Let's just try and grab that instead. I'm going to steal the list from here. I'm going to paste it into my code. Again, just in the main page, removing my beautiful dog. Going back here, going back to the thing here. Now you'll see I have a list. Now there's nothing in here yet because I don't have the specific file here. So let's just grab the TS file as well. See, it needs a component, we have that. Um, and we need some folders. So we're going to grab these and put them inside the class, list section class here. Um, so let's go back to our code. Now I know this is going fast. Don't worry about it. I just want to show you how easy it is to actually use this. So we're just going in here inside the constructor of our class. No, we don't, don't even need to go to the constructor. Just put the notes directly in here, going back to our code. And now you'll see a list of actual notes and uh, folders. Let's look something like the list here. If not, then we'll have to have a look at the CSS. So notice there are no icons here. That's actually because here we're using the icons from the Google set. Let's just try and install that as well since we are here anyway. Material, get started. It says down here that if you want to use icons, you can actually add this link if you want to use the Google icons. And that's another place you can, just to show you, that's another place where you can add your style sheet. So I'm putting that directly in the index HTML file. Going into my index HTML file, look at that right here, adding this as a link. There we go, the Google API for the fonts and the images, the icons. So let's see if that helped. Going back to my page, and there we have the icons. So now we have two icon sets we can pick from. You shouldn't do that, you should pick one of them, but now you have the two different icon sets available, right? So that's it. That's now you actually can use um, the material set inside your um, Angular 2 application. And that was kind of the goal of it. So now we are going to start building a header, a footer, and let's just get this committed to version 003. And next time we'll try, try to develop our first real shell for our application. See you next time.